Hello, I'm Jamie Haddad, and I'm here to talk to you about a line of crescent symbols. These are my own symbols that I developed over a period of a few years going to Istanbul, trial and error to see why I'm so unhappy with what existed already and how to remedy it. And that remedy came about through this haptic line of symbols. And the name haptic refers to the action of a digital hand motion affecting the sound of something. And in this case, when you're a hand percussionist, the one luxury you don't have is to pick up a stick and play when you're grooving with your hands. It's just not you would disrupt the flow of what you're doing, and I don't think anybody really seriously thought about what it takes to accompany that sound, because if you're in that sound environment, you're probably playing, in a, well, in my case, anyway, and this is, I'm trying to solve my particular situation sonically, and many of my uh, former students or musicians that I know, percussionists that are in a similar situation where they would complain about it. I mean, not, not having a sound that really works like that. Of course, we always find something that works and we doctor it up or, um, you know, over the years I've gathered a few that worked and I use some of them too to use as a starting point as a reference. But in the end, this uh, haptic line is totally unique and you can hear that uh, the sound opens up faster than a normal cymbal and decays more, and so it comes to a fuller blossom in a, a shorter amount of time and dissipates. So... Right. And this is a, a ride that is not available yet, but uh, I'm assuming that most hand percussionists at some point might want to play with a stick, and even these sound fine with a mallet. And they sound nice with sticks as well. I, I don't have a problem playing any of them with. And with brushes, right? Hi-hat symbols are primals, which is, is a, a line made by Crescent as well, but those symbols, um, although they, this particular pair really sits well in this setting, uh, there are hi-hats that would come out that would be part of this series as well. But right now there's uh, 16s and 18s in these three different models of symbol. And um, I'll just play some, because that's really what it's about, hearing the music and hearing some playing. So. Well, if you want to use them in conjunction with the bass drum and see as they accent, I can also play a...
like this. Now, the other symbols are also like. You know, it's the same family. And the crash comes at 18 as well. And I could, I could ride on, on these symbols you know, with a stick. I, I feel okay doing that in the setting. You, when you pick a symbol out from this line, the good news is that it'll always be different. You'll never have the same sound somebody else has. In spirit, you will, because that's the idea that they, they blossom soon and they die fast. But in the end, it's very distinctive. None, no two will sound remotely the same, but they're in character with the line. So I thank you, and I thank the people at Crescent for uh, being patient and working with me to develop this.